Like, I don't actually mind this, because, like, at the end of the day, it's just gameplay and it's fun. But, like, objectively, like, god, the car sucks, dude. <laughs> you know? It's not horrible. I could totally see, like, later on the line if I can get, like, a village, like, a tribe going. On this yeah, server. like, like I said, like, in a village, moving place to place, I wouldn't mind it. You know? I mean, I could totally see, like, connecting villages. Yeah. With like a trade route, and then you can load up parts yeah. and have like a, a runner. I get yeah. this game is gonna be really big on RP. I'm gonna say it right now. Oh yeah. But I mean, just in simple, like in a more simple way. Like let's say you just have like a big village. Like, like you have a small one right now, you know. But let's say you just kept expanding that one indefinitely, to the degree where you have a fuck ton of stone and wood and shit already, like in chests ready to go but you want to build a new house well uh, your car oh, oh never mind sorry I on my screen the cart fell off you but it was just like delay oh man fucking dear I don't think you're going to be able to come this way. Go! <laughs> we want to go up that way, yep. We want to go back to my path, because my path is, like, right up here. Okay. Um, but yeah, like, if you already have a big village with a lot of resources, you could just, like, put all... a bunch of stone and wood in a cart, and then, like, wheel it down the road to where you want to build the new place, and then just have that, and, like, work out of the cart to build a new house, you know? That's really what I imagine it for. I don't really ever see it being like for this, you know, because it's just not better to do it this way. Oh, yeah, it it my, just is. Can you get rid of this rock in front of me? <laughs> go, Deli, go, go, Deli, go. Oh, it does actually work when I, if I push it, I think. I okay. think. Okay. You go this way. Wow, bushes are actually tough. I think it took 60 damage. Weird, man. Oh, I'm getting close. I think this is where my path was. Uh. Like, I can't tell if me pushing it makes a difference or if it's just like weird lag. In like the server of you jotting around. Oh shit, thingies. Yeah, they will attack it. Well, more they attack you and miss, but yeah. Alright, it's at half health right now. It'll survive. Raspberries. Yeah, there's definitely some lag going on. You might want to reboot. Yeah, I will on this side. Oh, oh, shit. Especially if your friend's oh, gonna be coming there soon. Should be getting on here in the next hour, so. Alright, I, I want 200 gold pieces for being your bodyguard. Okay, Della. Oh, Wait, God. did it just explode? Oh, okay. No, we're in. <laughs> on my screen, you hit that rock and it made like the little breaking noise, but then the car disappeared. <laughs> um. Do you care if I destroy this when we get back to the village? Because I kind of want to see how shit, like, comes out of it when that happens. Uh, kind of, yeah. Oh, God. I I'd rather find out in, like, a controlled environment, you know what I mean? Where did, where did the path go that I made? I don't know. Maybe it, like, actually went away. It's up that here. might be a thing. Right on the path is a lot better. I'm pretty sure I put it up here. Should be like right up here. I I I'm so lost. I don't remember. Let's go this way. Come with me. The house is right here. Just go down the meadow here. There's like not a lot here. Like you can see the house. Like you have to make it through one more tree line. I'm like that's it. Okay. Okay. There. I'll I'll cut down these little trees. Yeah, there's a path right here. Uh, 
right, right here, I made a pass. Oh, thanks, bro. I'm so excited to start playing. Like, I, there's a lot of people I have to play this with, and honestly, I just think everyone's gonna play this at some point. You know, but I'm really excited to play this with like you and player and, your, and her mom and shit. I have a yeah. You know, we should get metal in um, this too. Have a whole little family, family server, dude. I found the I found the fucking path. Ours. Um, uh, and I'm trying to think of what the tool is that makes the better path. I think it is just a hoe, but like, maybe when you upgrade it more, it works. I don't know. I'm going to throw on another batch of wood, or at least what I had. Mm-hmm. Alright, oh, yeah, dude, your, your, your server's like choking, what? dude. Should we restart now? Um, uh, yeah, might as well. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, that wasn't that bad. That actually like, disconnected pretty cleanly and quickly. I didn't like out early that time. I want to see how it would work. Ugh. Also, like, that's the shit they're going to really be working on before, like, content. You know, a lot of bug fixing and, like, server stuff. Especially now, because, like, apparently... I, I didn't know this was, like, a popular game. Like, I saw my friend OmniSense, I don't know if you know him, streaming it. And I was like, that looks mm -hmm. neat. I asked him a few questions, and then I got it. And like I looked up some YouTube and stuff and realized like oh yeah it's kind of getting the indie treatment you know what I mean mm -hmm. like like where it blows up which is good but it can be bad for games in a way unfortunately um but yeah, you can read them okay um but I saw somewhere apparently this game has had like over a million sales already now so mm -hmm. um I I'm pretty sure because of that they're just gonna highly focus on like the server and client and networking shit first before adding more content now though maybe not because like besides a couple hard crashes and i mean a couple i like there's not really bugs i've run into i'm sure they exist and some people have yeah. but there's no like really common thing and even like my friends you so just put in like a hundred hours and like wait what the fuck it keeps saying wrong password oh my cat box is on um, and I was just like, you know, it's just, it's, it's really not in like a bad state, you know, but I still imagine with that many people trying to play online shit, it's probably like nightmarish in some way <laughs> from like a developing standpoint, developer yeah. standpoint. I also have no idea how, like, how big their team is or anything like that. I've heard, mm -hmm. honestly, bad things about the devs in their Discord and like their kind of like philosophy on shit. Um, in some of the reviews I was reading, because I went and I just read like the only the negative ones to kind of get some more context. Um, because like I know this isn't the game for some people, but. I like these types of games, so I wanted to see if it had real problems or just people that didn't like this type of game problems. Um, and the only thing that kind of made me not want to get it was like some people being like running into little issues or having an opinion or something and trying to talk to like the dev team in their Discord and like them kind of just being like fucking deal with it, man. You know, like it was like basically yeah, the response. Yeah, but they also like kicked them. And shit, and then when they came back and just tried to like ask, like, hey, like, why? Like, then they just kind of like fuck you and kicked them again. And I, and I saw that like more than once, I hate to say. So, is, is, it, is there more context? That's what I always ask. Yeah, there was back. a lot in, in this and a couple other reviews. I, I'm just like, this was a couple days ago that I read it, and like, I, I don't have it in front of me now, but. Like, in the full context, it, it kind of made me be like, 
Oh man, not like with I don't know if I want to buy this now just cuz I feel like it might be like fucking run into the ground in like a week, you know. Yeah. But I I hope I hope that maybe now that they have like fucking 3 million dollars that they, they uh, got over themselves. <laughs> right. You never know. Sometimes it gets worse when they get money. So. No, I know. I know. That's why I was kind of concerned. Oh. Uh, but that's, like, the only thing. That's, like, my genuinely only concern for this game. Is potentially, like, developers, like, mindset towards, like, online things. You'll be Ooh. on in an hour. Okay. Um, here's a bunch of shit. Here's some coal and wood and honey and pine cones and mushrooms. Alright. And chitin. I'm gonna put all the valuables away because I know where those go. And that's it. <laughs> that is not the valuables chest. Neither is that. I don't know where the valuables go, Deli. Valuable of what? Like the, uh, it's just what I call all the things of like gold, like the amber, rubies, uh, pearls, co gold coins. Valuables is downstairs, yeah. No, I, I got an arrow, but yeah. You're gonna have to, um, get another chest soon. <laughs> yeah, I know. Alright, so yeah, a thousand. Yeah, you got a solid 1500. I get you some neat things. Um, I will say if you wanted to get everything from the shopkeeper, at least one of each, like some things are like re like not a one-off item. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted to buy all his one-off items, uh I think you do need about like twenty two hundred. Yeah. If you wanna like clean them out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh because it's like nine fifty, one twenty four 350 and then there's like another thing that is i don't know one of them's like a late later mid game like crafting recipe thing you, you know oh. it's kind of weird like he's part of the tech tree oddly he's not like a boss gate by any means but there's a couple things like i think that hammer i have i think i need it like like random shit from him it's it's kind of weird I know there's some specialty things you can craft with them though. So th like you might need like X amount of them, but I have no idea like how many you'd actually need in the grand scheme of things. And then the other thing you'd buy a bunch of from is like, just like super cheap. So it's kind of like whatever. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh. This is kind of sad. Hmm. Well, it's just like, this is, a uh, Fox's house. Yeah. And then, you know, you got, like, like this is, like, a three out of three house, right? And then you come over to your house, and it's, like, a two out of three house, and then you come over to the shack I didn't build, and it's just a fucking hut with a bed in it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, well, it's not that good, though. Yeah, but it's a house. In these games, I really do like to live more of just like a fucking caveman. Like, I had the idea of actually trying to live in a burial cave and shit like that, but I, I did test it with you just now. You can't put a workbench down, unfortunately. Which is um, stupid. They should allow you to. Well, you can literally just dig a cave. <laughs> so. Um. It's not that bad. Ooh. <sighs> Cause shit like that does count as shelter. Shelter is literally just like, you need some form of shit over your head. If it would stop the rain from getting in, it like qualifies as shelter. Huh, I'm kind of disappointed in this abyssal knife. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, he'll be on in 30 minutes. I'm in. Oh, what was the recipe I was going to look at? 
Oh yeah, the stag breaker. It's core wood and dare trophies, and a little bit of leather. Fuck. What? I'm about to make a new chest. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess that unfortunately, bigger chests just uh, you just really don't get them for a while, man. Like, by the time you get them, they still feel small. There's also littler chests <laughs> that you get later that I don't understand. They're called personal chests, so I think maybe other players can't open them. But I've only used them in the single player, so like I have no idea. But yeah, I think it's like a like a six slot storage. It looks cool. I put one in my bedroom just for like visuals, and I just keep the fuel for all the fires in my house or in my bedroom in there. But um, it does visually look nice, but it's kind of weird. Oh, also, I haven't done this yet because I just can't be bothered because I don't really have enough of everything to make, like, full big storage rooms. So I'm kind of getting there. But you can make signs out of just wood and, and charcoal, and, like, they're pretty useful for, like, storage shit purposes. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I guess they're useful for a bunch of things, but, like, that's really their best thing. Oh... The lighting gets really cool. There's a lot of cool lighting things you can get later down and item stands. Yeah, I've seen some of the stuff. But I really want some of the stuff. Yeah, item stands I think are the coolest thing because like with that you have a lot more potential. You know. Mhm. Mm There's also a lot of banners as you get different materials. But honestly, so many of these materials are, would be like so obnoxious to get in the volumes you'd want to make like a bunch of banners. But if you just want to, like, put one on, like, your house or something, like, it'd be okay. But, like, my giant-ass castle, I'm gonna put banners everywhere, and, like, God, it's just, it's just gonna be a fucking knife. <laughs> it just really is. Hmm. I don't know if they do, but if not, they should make it where workbenches and forges or, like, their range should increase when they get leveled up. Right. That should be a thing. Or some way to like boost like bench ranges. Ah, lag spikes. Oh damn, wait. Okay. Do you, you know what, can I put a cool fire feature in, in the village to replace these shitty what fire camps? What is it? Um, like, I, I can show you if you want first. Yeah. Hold on, do I, I, I think I have what I need. I'm gonna need to build a piece of furniture I can't let you keep, because it's just not something you should have. Okay. But I think, it, like, the thing I would build with it. Um... I'll be back. I need two chunks of iron. Oh, what is happening? <sighs> Alright. I need two pieces of iron. And that's just some stone wood. I'm gonna build it. Like, it, it's it's like a workbench you need to be able to put down the other thing. Right? Kind of annoyingly. Um. But I think you'd really like it thematically for your little village here. And I do believe you can cook over here, because it is a fire. So, we should be able to put, like, the cauldron or the sticks over it, too, if you want. We need level 4 to get troll hide level 2, by the way. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, to upgrade the troll hide, you need to, like, really get, like, a stupid amount of progression to, uh... 
upgrade your workbench enough to justify it. it, it it's kind of weird. Oh, nah, that's not enough. Um, I have 50 core wood on this server if you want me to give that to you. You want to? Sure. <laughs> 